Okay, so you know how last time I told you guys I found a really, really, really good budget keyboard? Yeah, well, I feel like I lied, and I only say that because I actually found legitimately the best budget keyboard ever. It's so good. It's so good that I actually bought two of them. And the keyboard we're talking about today is the Nufi Halo 65. So this is a 65% keyboard, and it's so good. Like, so take a, let's take a look at this right now. So we have the box, which already the packaging looks amazing. It's got, it's just got a nice design on it. It's, you know, cardboard box. It just, it looks really nice. It's, it's a, actually a high quality box. And then when you open it, you get the little pamphlet, which kind of tells you how to use the Bluetooth and set the LEDs. You can get some stickers with some anime girl on it, which I guess is their mascot, which is really, really cool. So if you're into that, that's awesome. And then if we dive in further, you know, we have some manuals and stuff like that. And then the keyboard, which is really, really nicely presented to you. It's wrapped in this nice plastic and it's got a plastic cover on it. And it's just really, really nice. And then here's my actually like the my favorite part of the entire keyboard is this is your accessories box. So it comes with a braided cable and it comes with a switch and keycap spoiler, which makes sense. But then it comes with seven additional uh, switches. And these are all the switches that they offer on their website. And I think this is really, really awesome because this I feel like helps newcomers into this hobby just really kind of get into this hobby a lot better because now you have something to test out up to seven different types of switches and they're not just like the typical like cherry mx or gatoran switches i mean the i mean we have two of them here but we have two of newfie's own switches and these are the the rose glaciers and the night harvest i or some, the night moon, something like that. But basically, Rose Glacier is the tactics, the, the tactiles, and the night one is their linears. Uh, really, really good, really, really nice ones. And they also have baby kangaroos, which are tactile, baby raccoons, which are linear, and then they have Gatoron blues and Gatoron reds. So, yeah, really good, diverse. Uh, switch uh, tester, which I think is really, really awesome. And it really helps people kind of understand the difference between the two, as well as how they can be different per company. So I think that's really, really awesome. I mean, just like anything, we're gonna, let's let's take out the keyboard. I wanna, you know, take a look at this thing. Cause, cause here's the thing, like this keyboard online on their website with the full, this is a pre full built, but it's hot swappable. It's north facing LEDs. It's an aluminum top case, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, most budget keyboards, as you guys know, are all plastic. So I think having a little bit of aluminum, I, I feel is real, it's just a really, really nice touch, even if it's not the entire thing. It comes with some really, really nice switches and honestly, really, really nice keycaps. These are double shot PBT. They're really, really nice quality. They're clear, the text is clear. It doesn't, there's nothing about this at least so far feels cheap and I love it. And the presentation is great. It's a, I think they really are trying to encourage people to get into the keyboard hobby, which I think is super, super awesome. Just like with all of our videos, uh, since this comes pre-built, we're gonna just see what it sounds like stock. So let's take a, let's, let's take a listen. Okay, so this sounds really, really good. Like, out of the box, the switches sound good, the keycaps sound good, the keyboard is, you know, it's not super thocky, like super foamy sounding, but at the same time, it's not really pingy. It's just got some nice clack to it if you like that clacky sound profile. It's just, it's just really good. It's just, it's done really, really well. And for an out of the box, uh, for an out of the box pre-built keyboard for Here's the price, $120. It, this is a fantastic deal. Now, of course, after shipping, it's like 140. But for me, this is, this is what I mean when I talk budget, 
right? So this is this is what I think when I think the best budget keyboard. Because the problem I have with a lot of people currently is that they'll say, oh, this is the best budget keyboard. Like, look at it, it's so cool. And then I go and look at the price and it's $200 just for the keyboard case. That's not budget to me, right? Because at the end of the day, your bill is gonna be like three, $400. Like once you get switches and keycaps and depending on how big it is. This is entirely pre-built for $120. That to me, that screams budget because it's honestly very hard to build something of this quality for that price on your own, right? Like go find me a keyboard case that is half aluminum that sounds this good right out of the box, right? It's just, it's not really gonna happen. So today we're actually gonna be building this out for my friend and I say build, but really we're just gonna be seeing if we can modify it at all and then just adding some keycaps to it. But it's for my friend, he is a, aerospace engineer so he works on rocket ships and stuff like that so that's cool so i decided to get these keycaps from goblintechkeys.com they do custom keycaps in case you all are interested you can actually go and design your own which i think is really really cool these were already designed and it's a little astronaut set i think they look really really nice it's a really cute set i think you'll really really like it for now let's take apart the keyboard let's see what's going on inside and i have to say this is kind of where the budget part I think kind of rears its ugly head and in a way I'm actually kind of glad this is where it is now if we remember the Keychron very easy to take apart very nice but I'm gonna be honest though the build quality of this feels better than the Keychron now the Keychron is just designed a little bit better because you can take it apart really really easily this is a little bit more of a pain you have to really pry apart the top and bottom case, uh, parts of the case uh, that that for me is always a little sketch. I'm always afraid of breaking something. It uh, kind of took me a while. It got to the point where I was trying to actually remove the, the PCB so I could kind of take a look at it and see if there's anything I could modify, but I, I could not get the top part of it taken apart. It was, it was really, really difficult. It was really annoying. And so at this point I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it back together. But here's the cool thing that I noticed though. So Nufi has this thing where apparently they're really about that tone, that very specific tone. And to the point where their space bar actually has this cool like dampening, uh, like silicone dampening, uh, like technology that they call it, but it's really cool because space bars I find can be the hardest to make sound good. And this sounds pretty good right out of the box. Also, if you see here that the the space bar has like two silicone dampening pieces like right where the space bar sits. I think that's also really cool. It helps for if you use after aftermarket keycaps. I think that's really, really cool. Now, one thing I did notice that was really strange was that specifically the key, uh, sorry, specifically the space bar itself used their uh, linear switch. Everything else was the the rose glaciers because I spec these with rose glaciers. I think he would really like the tactiles and but they're all rose glaciers except for the space bar. So I thought that was a little strange. So when putting everything back together, I decided to just replace that with the rose glacier just to see how that was going to be. And uh, yeah, we're going to just do a small sound test. It's, honestly, I don't think anything's going to change. We're really just changing the keycaps, but of course, different material, different thickness, density, that's all gonna affect the sound, so here we go. So yeah, that basically sounds exactly the same, but you know what? I think the keyboard looks really, really good. And again, I highly recommend this keyboard for any of you guys who are just starting out with this hobby and are curious with like building something and, and wanting to just kind of like figure out what this hobby is all about. You honestly can't go wrong. Like the pricing is really, really good. It's a very, very nice entry level price. And you get some cool switches too. You know, it's, you don't just get stuck with 
Gatoron browns or Gatoron reds. Like those are so common. I mean, for good reason. They're great switches, but they're just super, super common. If, if you're if you're someone who wants to just kind of like explore this hobby, I highly recommend this keyboard and, and go for like some baby kangaroos if you like tactiles. Go for some baby raccoons if you like linears because those are honestly really, really great switches. And if you were to buy them separately, they're quite expensive, right? So for like a 65% keyboard like this, for some baby kangaroos, you're probably gonna look at like $40, $50 just for the switches. They're, they're expensive. Like I was gonna buy some baby kangaroos for myself and they're, they're really expensive. So this is a great way of getting some high quality switches that sound really good, that feel really good for a price that is, it's, it's just so cheap, it's so good. So yeah, you guys, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It wasn't much of a build. I didn't really do any modding. Uh, it just it was just kind of one of those things where I just I couldn't get it apart enough and I really didn't want to risk breaking it because this is not for me. This is for my friend. But I think it looks good. Again, this is such a good budget keyboard. Definitely, definitely check it out. Links will be in the description below. I'll see you guys all in the next one.